Hey, Vizent here. We might finally get some Elden news tomorrow, uh, in this video I just want to take a last chance to speculate on some features we still don't know about. I thoroughly went through interview we got last year to make sure I only talk about what wasn't already confirmed. I suggest you read it as well, though watching this video probably means you already do it every night. So yeah, link in the description if you haven't. And okay, let's get started. Since Dark Souls from software has been utilizing bonfires or similar structures scattered around the world to give players a sense of progression as well as safety. Some hidden, some in plain sight, they act as beacons of hope and that's why their number one priority to look out for on your first playthrough in every game. So how will checkpoints work in Elden Ring? As an open world game, we might see some surprising changes. In his E3 2019 interview, Miyazaki stated nothing in this matter. We can only imagine what kind of ideas were considered and what ends up in the final product. We might be able to go back to each dungeon-like village and have some in between save points. Or maybe we won't see them at all, our character could just be revived on spot like Sekiro was in his game. But what I like to picture is actually permadeath. There's no better feeling than completing a no-death run. Imagine if every player had to go through this experience to finish the game. It would surely be a unique idea and worth exploring. But wait, who said anything about death at all? Killing your enemies was always a huge part of FromSoft games, and people had come to expect it in new titles. But technically it wasn't confirmed yet, we've got something about responsive melee based combat and gritty intense boss fights, but it can mean anything really. What we didn't get is any confirmation of death existing in this game. In trailer we saw an old guy with multiple arms growing out of his back. Here's an interesting idea. Maybe the real goal of fighting is to maim enemies, amputate their arms and take them prisoners. Maybe it's not the level or items that will be the main measure of strength. It could just as well be a number and quality of your additional limbs. There is no point in murdering opponents as they might not even have anything valuable with them. Which brings me to my next point. Souls games had an interesting mechanic of combining experience points and money into a single number. We've seen some changes to formula and Sekiro has completely abandoned it, splitting the universal currency into four different resources. Elden Ring, while confirmed to be an RPG and returning to some of Dark Souls features, might take this idea even further. I suspect main character will level independently from other materials we'll be able to collect in this open world. After progressing through certain part of main questline and collecting enough wounded enemies, the game will unlock additional top-down RTS mode. You'll still be able to play like you were before, but collecting basic items will fall on shoulders of your captives. This would reduce time spent on walking around aimlessly and increase overall amount of exciting gameplay. Maybe you could even fend off other players' armies. Oh, right. What about the multiplayer? There is sadly no official information about there being invasions or any kind of multiplayer involved in Elden Ring. But I am optimistic. Fighting with other players is what kept other games fresh for many years and I believe Miyazaki knows it. What I'd like to see is an evolution of previous titles in this matter. Aside from normal PvP and co-op, I thought of this seamless kind of multiplayer, where no one knows about it. Basically, worlds of two players on similar level may randomly collide and create this unique experience where you may or may not become aware of other person. There are no fog gates, no announcements, no duties to be fulfilled, just two of you, both thinking you're the main character. Imagine scenarios those interactions could create. That's gonna be it for today's speculations. 
Thanks a lot for listening. Don't forget to share your thoughts and comments below. Feel free to subscribe to this channel or check out my stream at twitch.tv slash hiddenvisant. Bye!